Good morning, everyone. As you could tell from the title, we're doing something so exciting. We are in Salem. Well, technically right now we're in Danvers. My mom and I came to the Best Western that we stayed at in October in Danvers, just so we were here the night before and we didn't have to get up super early and drive at like five o'clock in the morning. So we got here last night and we're headed into town now. I'm so excited. We've never come in April before, but we wanted to get a little trip out of the way before I move to Florida. Say hi, Mom. Hi. The last time we were here was October, six months ago, half a year. It doesn't feel that long, but it was. This hotel is only like 15 minutes from town, so we can't check into our hotel until like four o'clock, but we're just gonna go park by Red Sandwich Shop, and then our hotel, we're staying at the Stepping Stone Inn. Um, we've never stayed there before. We usually stay at the Salem Inn, but we figured we'd try something different this time. And they said we could park there at 11, but it's not 11 yet, it's 10, 15. So we're gonna park outside Red's, get some breakfast, then move the car to the Stepping Stone Inn, and hopefully they could park us there. So we'll figure it out when we get there. But I'm so excited. It's definitely gonna be an emotional one because it's me and my mom's last like little weekend together before I move. She's not moving with me. Both of my parents are staying in New York, but they'll be back and forth. It's just like, they're not gonna move to Florida full time with me right now. So it's kind of emotional, but it's also emotional because I'll be further away from Salem. So it's not gonna be as easy for me to get there. So I don't know when the next time I'll be back is. So we have today and tomorrow. Let's head into town. Okay. Girl. Get some energy in you. She needs her coffee. Okay guys, we found some parking outside of the cheese shop of Salem and we're right in front of City Smoke Shop and Red's is right up there. I parallel parked and I'm really proud of myself for it. I don't usually parallel park, I never really have to, but driver's ed taught me well, I guess. I remembered how to do it. <sighs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. City Smoke Shop. Happy belated 420, it was yesterday, if you celebrate. I cannot because my new job is a drug-free job, so I can't smoke or anything, but I don't really feel like I'm missing out on much because I don't really do that anyways. I can still drink, so, you know. Of course, gotta stop at Red's. First stop of the day always, mom is running. Mother, yes. why are you running? I wanna do an outfit, show them my outfit. I guess. I can't get my usual steak to Benny's. Well, I guess I could, but I wouldn't eat it all. So this is my first trip in Salem since my surgery. So it's gonna be weird to eat different things or not eat certain things. I don't know. Weird, but we're going in now. We're home, mom. Our home. So we just finished up at Red's. I only got a scrambled egg and some bacon and I couldn't even finish it. So that's super fun. Now we're gonna go head over to the hotel to park the car. We actually are going on a walking tour. I think it's the Bewitched walking tours with Sarah from Sail on the Podcast. I'm so excited. Um, we booked a tour with her. It was supposed to be at 4 p.m. but she had texted us and said that no one else was gonna be on the 4 p.m. And if we wanted to bump it up to the 1 p.m., we could, but it was up to us. But we figured we might as well because we don't wanna make her just like take us personally on a tour, that's crazy. And it works out better for us anyways. It's 11.30 now, we have some time before the tour, but again, we have to go move the car to the hotel. And then we won't, there won't be like too much time in between, I don't think. It's only 11.36 right now. We're gonna park the car and then go down Essex Street. Still haven't been down Essex Street. That's always the most magical moment of the trip, going down Essex Street. So yeah, I'll check in with you in a little bit. When we, we can't check into the hotel, but we're just gonna park there, hopefully. Cause it's after 11. He said after 11 is fine, so. Okay, we have just parked at the Stepping Stone Inn. Um, it's quite cold, so I have to put a sweatshirt on, but it's ruining my outfit, but it's chilly. It's such a great location, because this is the inn, and right there's the Roger Conant statue, the Salem Witch Museum, mm -hmm. and then Essex Street, you just have to go right across there and down a little bit. So it's like 
the perfect location. I don't know why we never looked into this one. Ma, let's cross here. It's like the perfect location. I don't know why we never looked into it, but so that's where we will be staying and there's the Salem Witch Museum. So it's like so centrally located. Here it is. It's so cute. I love it. I don't know what room we'll be in, like what window we'll have, but it doesn't really matter. Well, I do know what room we'll be in. I just don't know where it is in the house. This is good because later we could come to Goodnight Fatty's and I'll get a cookie. What is that place? Remember where I got that cookie? Yeah. It's that. Oh. So before we go to sleep, we could just walk across and get a cookie. Yeah, but remember I didn't like it. They only had the chocolate chip. Well, I'm going to get a cookie. You could do whatever you want. Here's the Salem Common. Hawthorne Hotel. Okay. It's quite windy and cold. Oh, gotta love April. boutique back there and I got a new ring this one kind of just like called to my mom I got this ring a little triangle it's so pretty and it's flower agate this is what it means I kind of just called to my mom it says recommended to be worn by those starting a new endeavor in their life um, hello I'm moving to Florida I think it's so pretty and the triangle is so unique because I like to wear a lot of rings, so I was looking for another crystal ring to wear on my right hand because I wear this one every day. So I just think it's so cute. And this one I got from the Village Silversmith, so we were gonna go there, but we saw this one, right, Ma? You saw this one, it just like spoke to you. And I just think it's so pretty. So we just bought this. Our first purchase in Salem. We didn't even make it very far down Essex Street. Are we surprised? No. It's a little triangle. I love it. And that boutique is so cute. And it came with a little polishing cloth for silver. It's sterling silver and the crystal flower agate. I love it. I'm so excited. So me and my mom always get my dad a t-shirt in this store, which tees. We found this one this year, Life Behind Bars. And it's so fitting because it's like tropical, but also Salem. Oh, it says, oh, cute. Front, oh, that. that's the front. Cute. Okay. Yeah, we get that one, I think. I see this shirt every year and I think about buying it and I never do. Do they have it? I don't even think so. Oh, yeah, it's over there. Or, what's this? Woke up gay again. <laughs> Woke up gay again. Okay, change of plans. We found the perfect shirt that describes my dad. I never dreamed that one day I'd become a grumpy old man, but here I am killing it. Cause we always call him a grumpy old man. Cause he is. And it's a joke, cause he's not old. I mean, he's not old, but lately he's been very stressed. So he's been very grumpy. You know, you get it. You, you get it, I don't need to explain why. It's funny, that one is more him for sure. We're gonna get that one. And I'm gonna get the shirt that I saw like two years ago that I never got, this one. Or was it a year ago? I don't even remember anymore. I think it was two. Yeah, it was 2022 I saw that. Um, and I'm gonna get an extra large because the 2X looks a little too big for me. Thing, that's crazy. I always either get a two or a three X, but here we are. Oh, that's cute. Wait, look, he punches. Uh-uh. Oh my god. <laughs> I love this. I have to get it.
the Bewitch tour. She is an awesome tour guide. I knew she was awesome before, but um, just from the podcast, but having been to Salem eight times, there was still stuff I didn't know and it was very informative. Also, sorry, I don't know if you can hear me, but we're actually in Lily's Bakery. It's on Derby Street and it's just past the, the Witch Village, which is like right across there. Recommended by Sarah. She was like, go get something warm to drink because it was quite cold on the tour. So I just got a caramel cappuccino and waiting for that. Yeah, that tour was awesome. I got a picture with her. I'll put it on the screen. Um, she was super sweet. I gave her a little gift. I forgot to show you guys. It's these two little shooters, like alcohol shooters. It's just Tito's, but I put their label, like their podcast name on it. And I put one that said got shooters and one that said got um, nips because the two of them have different ways, different, is that mine? Thank you. Did she tell you which one was which? I think that's yours. I needed that. They, the little alcohol bottles, that's been like a topic of discussion on the podcast of what to call them, like what they call them. I think they're shooters, which I think Sarah thinks too. I made them that and I wrote a little letter and gave that to her and yeah. It was a really good tour. What do you think, Mom? It was really good. I'm just freezing. Did she live up to the expectations? Yes, yeah, she was very good. She's super friendly and very, um, she's got a lot of puns and uh, it's super interesting. Even if you're not like just into the film with Charles, there's a lot of other history there too. There's a glare on my lens and I can't, I don't know if it's a scratch or it's in there. So I'm sorry if you see that. It's literally on my face right now. I've never been in this place. No, we've never been here. It's good. Mm -hmm. How's their hot chocolate? Good. It's really cute in here. Yeah, they have like a, a bag thing that you can get. A brown bag to go. Like it's a soup, a half a sandwich. Oh, really? Yeah, chips. Something else that comes with or whatever. And so it's like Panera almost. Yeah. What, did you want to eat here? No, it's fine. I don't know what we're gonna eat. We're gonna do an early dinner, you said? Yeah. Oh, you know what we could do? We could do an early dinner, right? At Turner's. Around like, what'd you say, four? And if we're like, obviously look around and stuff, and then later on go back to Bit Bar, because we have the coins. Yeah. And then if we're hungry, we can get the nachos again. Oh, and I get that. drinks. Highly recommend Sarah's tour. I'm a little bummed I didn't get to do Jeffrey's tour. But I wrote a letter, so hopefully, um, Sarah said they're recording tonight the podcast, so she's gonna see him, and I assume give him the shooter or whatever. I really needed this coffee. One, because I'm tired, but also it's freezing. We are gonna sit here. Actually, we're gonna go head to the hotel right now, just so we have all our stuff in the hotel, and then uh, head back out. Oh, should we go to the, I broke something in the store. Oh, we have to go there. I think it's called New England or whatever. It's a brand new store on Essex Street. It's so cute. They have so much Christmas right stuff. Right next to the Halloween um, It's right next to the Halloween yeah. Museum. And I was looking at a Hocus Pocus mug that had a lid on it. And I turned it over and the lid fell and shattered. I did that in Michael's one time too and got it on camera. It's in one of my past vlogs. I did that and I felt so bad about it. But we're going back and we're gonna buy something. The guy was so nice. He was like, do not trust, please. Like, it's fine, please do not trust. And I was like, I still feel so bad, but my mom saw something. My mom saw a little statue of like the Hocus Pocus character since she wants to get it for me and I think it's adorable. And I'm gonna bring it to Florida and put it in my room there. I think we're gonna head back that way for that first because it's on the way. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go buy something from the store that I broke something at because why wouldn't I do that? We are now walking to go to the store that I broke something. Still feel so bad about that. And we're walking down next to the blue trees. I've been here for years. The blue tree project. This cappuccino, so good. We're cold. Cheers to a nice spring day. What's the degree? 60, but it feels... No, it's like 50, 56. It's quite chilly. 
Also, since I've lost weight, I get colder easier. So there's that too. My little caramel cappuccino is keeping me warm. Essex Street. Okay, you guys, we have made it to the hotel. As I mentioned before, we decided to do something a little different this trip. We're not staying at the Salem Inn. We are staying at the Stepping Stone Inn, which is right next to the Salem Witch Museum, right across from the Salem Common. And we are staying in the Monterey Room. So I'm gonna show you around a little bit. Everything's right here within walking distance for a fair price. And it's owned by a couple, Matt and I believe Kelly. We met Matt, he's super nice. And this house is so cute. It was built, I think he said in the 1800s. Our room is his favorite in the house and I can see why it's a really cute room. So I'll show you. So we are upstairs right now. All of the guest rooms are upstairs. I'm gonna be a little quiet out here. So I hope you can hear me. The front door is right down there and you come up these stairs and here is some of the guest rooms. Ours is the Monterey room and we have our own little hallway. Let me just, it's our own little hallway and here is the bathroom. My mom's in there right now and then this is our room. It's really cute, it has a queen bed and it's very nicely decorated. And my favorite part is this window looks out to the Roger Conant statue and the Salem Common, the Hawthorne Hotel. It's like perfect location. Wake up in the morning and like look out at Salem basically. And then this window looks out at the I forget what house it's called, but the black house over there. And I just think it's such like a cute location. And right there is Goodnight Fatty. So we're gonna mosey our way down. And this is a really cool piece. This is a built-in wardrobe, a period piece as Matt said. We have some of our stuff in here, but it smells like chestnut when you open it and it smells so good. Yeah. As you heard, I broke something at the store and we then we bought something. My mom, oh, this is heavy for $26. This statue of the three witches in a cauldron, it's so cool. And it has like the little green bubbles or whatever. And my mom got me this. It was $26.99, which is not bad for this, I feel. Um, thank you, mom. It's so cute and I can't wait to bring it to Florida and have it on display because it's kind of like, abstract a little bit it's not like in your face hocus pocus i mean this is but it's like a little it's like a trophy now it's 3 47 i'm not really sure what the plan is now i think we're gonna go eat and shop the only complaint we have is the steps they're pretty steep so if you can't really do steps this place wouldn't be an option for you because they don't even have any guest rooms on the first floor it's only the second, and then they have one guest room on the third in the attic. You showed them how it goes down. I did, I showed them. It's pretty yeah. steep. So if that's an issue for you, I would probably look into a different hotel, but um, are you okay with it? Yeah, I mean, I did it, but there's a lot coming up with the bags, and my knee was hurting unbelievable. So they are pretty steep. It's cheaper than the Salem Inn by like what? I don't know. Oh, did they have. It was How much do we pay here? Two hundred a night. It was. It came to two forty or two twenty something. You said. Salem Inn. Here. Here. Over there, is closer to almost. Two fifty. No. Um, yeah, two seventy five. Two two sixty nine a night plus tax. Yeah. And it's slightly cheaper than the Salem Inn, but again, there are pros and cons. Um, this is really centrally located. The Salem Inn is pretty. Like, basically we're at one end of Essex Street right now up there. Like the end of the Ped Mall is right there. The Salem Inn is by the Witch House at, towards like the other end of Essex Street. So kind of depends what you're looking for. They also don't serve breakfast here in the morning, I don't think, but they no. serve coffee. Well, I'm also very excited to meet the cats wherever they may be. I wanna meet the cats. There's two cats here, there's Sunny and Blakey and I'm excited to meet them, but they haven't showed us their presence yet. But yeah, if you're looking for more of a hotel vibe, this is definitely more of a bed and breakfast vibe where like you meet the owners and they kind of like guide you through stuff. 
um, Matt gave us a very like introductory, not speech, but like showed us a map of Salem and like kind of pointed things out to us and showed us to our room, showed us a little bit of the house. So if you don't like that vibe, I wouldn't stay here. They're very friendly. They're very like, want to get to know who's staying in their house because they live here. Um, so it's like a bed and breakfast basically. So yeah, the Salem Inn is more of an inn vibe. Um, and then there's hotels obviously, but my mom is itching to leave. So let's, let's get going. So the house is from 1846. Abraham True. Owned it, I guess. Alright, let's do you wanna cross over here? Yeah, I guess. Right by the Salem Witch Museum. last time I updated you. Right now we are headed to Bit Bar to get some drinks, play some games. Um, it's about 6.50. Sarah from Salem the Podcast um, reposted my story and Salem the Podcast posted their little, the little gift I got them. So if you're not following them on there, follow them at Salem the Pod. Also follow me if you want to see some pictures from the trip. I do post some pictures and all and I'll be posting some pictures. I, I, I've been more into posting lately, but um, it's at Heather underscore Huff underscore. We're headed to Bit Bar. Say hi, Ma. Hi. Which actually, fun fact, we got some coins last night. We stopped at Bit Bar last night, um, even though we technically weren't in Salem yet. Um, we did stop at Bit Bar because we were hungry and we were in the area. But um, I didn't vlog it just because like it was so quick. But our server had given us some coins that we didn't use, so that's why we're going back. And we're gonna go play some games and get drinks. It's so cold and windy. I really wish it was warmer, but that's the only complaint I have this Salem trip is the weather. And I feel like I can't fully enjoy my food because I had my surgery, so it's been really hard. Cause like I have a couple bites, especially these past couple days, I feel like I haven't been able to eat as much for whatever reason. So that's frustrating, but you know, you roll with the punches. If you do come to Salem, I would definitely stop at Bit Bar. And if you're here on a Friday, they do a drag show every Friday night. Miss Diamond Wigfall, highly re recommend. Cheers, mama. Oh wait, <laughs> there we go.
<laughs> oh, it's over. Game over. 150. I beat you! Whatever. Champion. All right. I just went and blew shit rocks, okay? I got the ball stuck up there for the 100. Oops. <gasps> you beat our highest score! The highest we both have gotten is 240. Apparently now she got 280. Fair hockey time.
to convince my mom to go into All Souls Lounge. She's like, do you wanna just go back to the hotel? Girl, it's 8.30. No, I don't wanna go back to the hotel. I don't think I've ever like been tipsy slash drunk in Salem before. I don't think I have. Cause a lot of the times I was visiting, I was under 21, but now, well, and then I was like fat. So I couldn't like get drunk really, unless I drank a lot. I had two, two drinks at Bit Bar and I'm very tipsy. Bit Bar is so fun. I love Bit Bar. That's like my favorite place to go. Highly recommend if you're in Salem. And I was kind of saying before, but I said it quickly, so I'm gonna say it again. Bit Bar has a drag show every Friday night. Miss Diamond Wigfall. She's iconic. We were here last night. We didn't really see the whole show because we were like tired. We just like drove here quickly to get dinner. Um, it was her 420 drag show, which is quite the experience to bring your mother to. But we did, and it was fine. And we didn't stay the whole time because we were tired, but um, she's iconic. Maxine was also iconic. I forget the other names, but they were all good. If you're ever at Bit Bar, definitely try and come on a Friday. I think it's Fridays that they have drag shows. Change of plans. We're going to Main Street Pub on Essex Street because we're staying so close to Essex Street, it'll just be easy to get home from there. Also, want to stop at Goodnight Fatties for a cookie if we can, if we have time. Also, I was like vlogging in front of the window at Bit Bar because I'm too drunk to care. Well, no, I'm not drunk, I'm tipsy to care about like vlogging in public. And I saw someone like literally talking about me. They're like, Look, it's like a vlog. Like they were pointing out my camera and stuff. Listen girls, listen. I can't help that I'm a vlogger, okay? We're going to Main Street Pub. Main Street, whatever the fuck it's called. And then Goodnight Fatties, which I'll bring you along for. Oh no, my camera battery's dying. You have to give me my camera battery. I'll see you guys later. I'll let you know. We're turning on to Essex Street now and Main Street Pub is right around the corner. Woohoo, here it is. Main Street Pub. We're making our rounds. Main Street Pub on Essex Street. I got a vodka diet coke. It's a lot of coke. Honestly, I prefer Bit Bar only because it's a slimmer glass. And for me, my stomach gets so full, so it's easier to drink in a slimmer glass. This was $11, and at Bit Bar it was like 10 -ish. And there's not that many people in here, but we're sitting at a table. Listen, the vibes are still going, listen. We got a little candle. Dollar bill. If you made it this far in the video, comment down below a ghost emoji. Or no, comment down below. No, yeah, a ghost emoji. And let me know if you actually enjoy this vlog. Cause I'm insecure and I want I want to know that you did. I'm gonna live here one day. Mark my words, I'm gonna live in Salem, Massachusetts, which you guys already know. But it just feels crazy that like I'm moving to Florida in like less than a week, and then I'm like, oh, I want to move to Salem, but like I'm gonna take my experience from Florida, take like what I learn and move it up here because this is where I'm meant to be. I already know. So we're leaving Main Street Pub now. I finished my vodka Diet Coke. I <laughs> am really drunk. I'm just gonna end the vlog here because I can't function honestly. I got, I went live 
in the bar and now I'm gonna go live again in a little bit but I'm just gonna end the vlog here please tune in to tomorrow I'm gonna be vlogging the whole day again um I vlog a lot I almost daily vlog um if you're new here please subscribe love you so much and I will see you tomorrow for Salem day two my camera just died so sorry for the horrible quality outro but yeah all the things please like and subscribe follow me on instagram and everything and i will see you tomorrow day two salem bye Mwah. the salem witch museum here's the salem witch museum i am walking around salem right now i'm gonna cross the street safely let's do it look left look right left again right again let's cross i'm heading to Good night, fatties. I really would like a cookie, so I'm gonna get one. Are you still open? Yeah. Okay. Um, can I get that one? Yes. Heather? Heather, you're all set. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. Cookie from Good Night Patty in Salem. I'm gonna sit over here. Maybe. <sighs> okay. I got the brownie batter cookie from Good Night Patty in Salem. Look how gorgeous she looks. Let's split her open, maybe. Ooh. Y'all see that? Let's try a bite together, okay? Cheers! Oh. This is for sure gonna give me a stomachache. Kaylin, it is amazing. I, if you guys didn't know or you don't follow me, I had the gastric sleeve surgery in December. But that doesn't mean you can't enjoy yourself. Like, get a little brownie batter cookie if you want. Oh. People probably think I'm crazy. I'm leaning on the ground eating a cookie. Mm. I've only been here once before. And it was, I think in October. I don't remember which cookie I got, but this is so good.